Hey everybody, Crystal Kitsune here, and welcome to Higher or Lower, uh, the Higher or Lower game, uh, better known as, if I get it wrong, I'm taking a shot. Uh, <laughs> we are on episode 7, um, last time, about a month ago, we played episodes, or did episode 6, so we're on episode 7 of Higher or Lower. Now, if you don't know what this game is, for heaven's sakes, go watch some of the other episodes that I did. Um, basically, the premise is you get two things that are pitted against each other that are based off of Google search uh, for like the month or something. I think it's um, it's a frustrating, addictive game of higher or lower using Google searches. Data is based on a global monthly search. So it takes monthly searches of items or queries and pits them against each other. So if it's higher... You click higher, or, or, you don't know what it is until you click higher or lower. If it's right, then you can move on. If you're wrong, then you lose and you have to start over again. So it's very simple. Um, I'll show you here. So you have Justin Bieber, which has searched 13 million times. And it's against 12 angry men. Now, I have no idea what that is. It looks like a very old movie, possibly. So I'm thinking that it's going to have very low search results. Um... But the the idea of this game to make it more interesting, though, is that if I get it wrong, like if I chose, chose, if I choose higher and it's obviously not, obviously not going to be higher, I'll have to take a sh uh, shot. So I got my fireball here, my fireball whiskey, cinnamon whiskey. So if I get the question wrong, then I have to take a shot. But I'm going to be only taking half of this because I don't normally drink i only do the drinking for these kind of games so i'm gonna take half shots until we find out like how if i if i keep getting uh bad scores then i'm gonna end up being drunk but we'll find out what happens so anyway justin bieber searched 13 million 600 times i'm thinking it's gonna be definitely this is gonna be lower just because it's doesn't even doesn't even like, it does, I don't even know what it is. Like, a lot of these things that they show are things that I don't even know what the fuck they are. Like this. Roland Garros. Apparently, it's some sort of tennis thing. Because it looks like a tennis tennis court. Tennis court. Uh, but they have, like, searches of things that are probably relevant. But I don't know anything about them. Like, one of the times... We did did a, an episode, it was, like, stuff about the Olympics or something. And I don't follow sports at all. Like, so, I have no freaking clue who Roland Garros is. But I'm going to assume that he searched more than 12 Angry Men. Because, again, I don't know what the fuck 12 Angry, Angry Men is. I'm assuming it's, like, a movie. But it's a black and white movie, so it's, like, it's probably super old. So I'm going to say that Roland Garros is higher. Okay. One million. Okay, so... One million searches for uh, Roland Garros against autism. Now, autism, uh, it's a it's a very uh, serious thing. I have a neighbor who's one of their children is autistic. Um, there's like a bunch of different types of autism. I mean, it's not just like, oh yeah, autism. That's it. That's just one thing. Um, there's like different kinds, but it's a thing that happens. It's a, you know, <clears throat> I don't know what the statistics are about like how often like families or, or children or whatever get autism, but autism <clears throat> is an important thing, which should be treated, you know, the way it should be treated. Um, a lot of times children with autism have to go to special schools because they act differently and um so yeah uh but whether or not it's searched higher than uh Roland Garros I have no freaking clue to be honest um I would think that it would be searched higher just because people want to know more about it but on the other hand I had another something similar to this a while back, and I, I would think it was something that would be 
more search than you know what the other question or the other thing was but it was searched way lower and I was actually kind of surprised I think it was like rape or something something like that and I would think it would be a topic that was like searched a lot but it wasn't it was like severely like under searched which is kind of surprising so just because of that I'm gonna say it's lower and I was right okay so Willie Mays is a baseball player for the Giants as we can see because he's holding baseballs and he's got the shirt, shirt, shirt that says Giants on it, or jersey, I should say, jersey. Um, and it's like an old photo photograph, so he's an old baseball player. Um, whether or not he's more searched than autism, again, you don't know. He could have just recently died, and so people are like learning about his history or something. I don't know. Again, I don't follow sports, so... It's like way over my head. Um, just by the fact that it's an old picture and it's an old person, an old, like an old person, an old player of the Giants, I'm going to assume that it's going to be lower. Yeah. So far, I'm like on a roll. Like, I haven't had the need to even take a shot right yet. Um, okay, so Willie Mays against Bangkok. Bangkok is in China. And that's like... A really big city in China so I'm just gonna say it's gonna be higher because 49,000 against Bangkok that's it's gonna have way more searches yeah I'm only searches okay um Halong Bay looks like it's another Asian and Asian looking uh, place just by the boat I don't know where it is though but whether or not it's searched more than Bangkok is another story. Since I've never even heard of Halong Bay, I'm going to just assume that it's going to be lower because of that fact. So, I'm just going to go lower. Yep, it's lower. Okay, climate change against uh, Halong Bay. Now, like, the whole like greenhouse effect thing has been talked about for years. Like, even when I was a kid. Um, so, like, the whole thing about the polar ice caps melting and like going to flood us and everything has been going and talked about for and the like the hole in the ozone layer is going to cause melting and all that it has been talked about for years so the fact that like the climates of these animals like the polar bear where they're at in the arctic uh change um it's not good you know like sometimes animals can adapt I mean, they have for thousands of millions of years. Um, the Ice Age, they had to grow fur to keep from dying. And then the Ice Age ended, and then, like, they stopped being so, you know, thick and woolly, and then they went back to the way they were. Or whatever. So, I mean, adap adaptation happens. Whether or not, you know, whatever's going on with the climate change, I don't know. I'm not, like, into, like, the whole, like, greenhouse effect, you know, hole, hole in the ozone layer kind of stuff. That's more like, uh, I think it's Greenpeace or something that, that handles that kind of stuff. I'm just going to say it's higher just by the fact that it seems like a, a widely, more widely searched term than the Halong Bay, just because of that. Yeah, okay. Okay, the San Antonio Spurs against climate change. Um, sports... I would think would automatically trump something like that, especially with only a 301,000 search on that. So I'm just going to say higher. Not by very much, but still. Pot noodle. Um, chicken and mushroom flavor. Um, I have no idea what a pot noodle is, but it's looking to me like it's like cup of soup, essentially. And it's more soup like instead of ramen like like it's flat noodles like the chicken noodle soup or something would have instead of the the rounder ones like ramen um i don't think it starts more than the san antonio spurs though so i'm just gonna say lower yeah and i'm like on a fucking roll here like i'm like this is my high score like i passed my high score i have not once fucked up 
<laughs> and I've not, um, you had to need to take a drink yet. So I'm going to say this is, uh, higher. Barnes & Noble is a very well-known and, um, popular bookstore, so I'm just going to say higher. Yeah. Four million. Uh, James Foley. Uh, it has no picture, so I have no idea who the fuck it is. Um, I'm just going to assume lower. Yeah, because I don't even know who the fuck James Foley is. Burberry. I think it's a company that sells stuff, like clothing and things. Um, so I'm going to say higher. Yeah. Uh, obesity. Um, because of the fact that, like, okay, obesity has been, is, is around. People are fat. I'm fat. I know people that are fat. It, it's just a thing. It's, it's going to be a thing that's going to happen. So I'm just going to say it's lower because not many people are going to search for it. Uh, solitaire, um, this might be the Trump, or the, the one that gets me because I'm not sure if solitaire would be higher or lower. I'm going to say lower. No. Okay. So we finally get to, uh, uh, take a shot. And since we haven't actually had, had to take a whole sh or a shot at all throughout, like, the whole, like, 11 minutes of me recording this whole thing. I'm just going to take a full shot. Because I was thinking, like, I wasn't going to be take ta I would be taking a lot of these things. And I didn't want to get, like, smashed right away. So that's why I was going to be like, okay, I'm just going to take half shots. Because last time we played, we didn't do so well. We, like, like every, like, two or three things, I, like, fucked up. So here's shot number one. Yeah. Just have to get past that initial alcohol flavor. And then you get the red hot. Whew, okay. Now here's like a, a funny thing, because we did obesity and now we're doing weight loss. Um, So weight loss against Theory Henry, looks, looking like a soccer player. Um, Again, I don't follow sports, so I don't know who this is, but I'm just going to assume it's going to be higher because... Yeah, um... No. Okay, well, I didn't even get that far <laughs> before I had to take another one. But I'm just going to do a half shot on this one because uh, that was bad. Uh, <laughs> so here's the half shot. <sighs> I like how they use, like, John John for these. And then the last one that we just did was John John. And now we got John John again. Okay. Now see, Olympics. 30 million hits for the Olympics. And that was just this last year or whatever. So, 30 million average monthly searches for the Olympics against the Sabbath. I don't think it's going to be higher than the, the Olympics, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, like, not even 5 million or 5,000. Monopoly um, against the Sabbath. Now, Monopoly, we used to play it all the time. Well, not all the time, but we used to play Monopoly um, every New Year's. Um, when it got to the time where we were, like, putting on uh, Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve, we'd pull out, you know, the old, ye old uh, Monopoly board. And we'd have salami and cheese, and crackers, and sparkling cider. And we'd sit there and play Monopoly until somebody wins. Or to the point where it's not getting anywhere, nobody's actually getting anywhere. Like, the game itself is just droning on and on and on. So basically we, like, call it. There was one time that we played till like, about 2 o'clock in the morning. Because we wanted to, to finish it out. When we got older... We're all like, okay, we're just going to, like, cut it at, like, midnight or maybe, like, an hour after midnight. And then whoever has the most money wins. Like, there's no sense in, dra you know, roll rolling it out. Uh, dragging it on when it doesn't need to. Just whoever has the most money at the end of the night at a certain time just wins. Uh, whether or not it's searched higher than the Sabbath, I'm thinking it will be because... Monopoly has been a game for, out for many, many, many years. Um, since, like, the 50s or 40s or something like that. 
Um, and there's so many different iterations of it. So many like collectors issues, issues, collectors versions of them. Star Wars, Pokemon, My Little Pony, um, NASCAR, like anything that you could probably think of. There's a Monopoly version of it. Um, I don't own any of them. Uh, I don't see playing like like 30 bucks for a, a Monopoly set that I'm never going to use. So I never bought the Monopoly sets or anything that went with the kind of things that I was into, like the Pokemon or the My Little Pony. So after saying all that, uh, I'm just going to say it's going to be higher. Yeah, 1500000 million. 500. Um, so mechanics. I'm just going to say lower because, yeah, because mechanics aren't really well searched. Hot. Higher for the NFL, definitely. That's like, that's like everything in one little nest. Like, uh, NFL covers all national football stuff. So it's not just one team or one person. It's just like collectively the whole thing. Uh, so I figured it would have a high search. Excuse me, I'm burping. I don't mean to burp on camera. Huh. Okay, Judaism against the NFL. I don't think it has that many searches, to be honest. I'm just going to say lower, just to kind of move things along. I mean, I know, like, sometimes I'll try talking these things out because I'm kind of weighed about, like, how, which direction I should go. And sometimes talking it out is, is good because then it kind of, like, puts it into mind, like, okay, this is why I'm choosing it because it makes sense. Um, and then it makes sense to you as to why I'm choosing it. Now, Judaism against the Looney Tunes, that's, like, a no-brainer. Uh, Looney Tunes has been out for eons. And, I mean, even, like, in the 50s and 60s and stuff like that. So, like, Bugs Bunny and Porky Pig and Daffy Duck and Sylvester the Cat and Tweety the Bird and all those other characters, Foghorn Leghorn and um, Elmer Fudd, Yosemite Sam. Uh, they're all, like, staple things. Like, you say Tweety Bird, you know automatically who that is. You say Bugs Bunny, you automatically know who that is. So, I mean, they have, like, recognition even today. I mean, you can still get t-shirts and things like that with the characters on them. I mean, you don't really see, like, a lot of new stuff from them. I mean, they did try to bring out, like, newer, uh, Looney Tunes, uh, a while back. Like, they kind of updated their look and stuff. And then they had Space Jam, which was out in the 90s, which updated the characters and stuff. So that was cool. But I haven't seen anything lately. Uh, the only thing that, like, has been trying to be more relevant in society is the Muppets. I don't see why they haven't actually tried to uh, make the Looney Tunes more relevant again. Um, but anyway, so I'm thinking it's going to be uh, higher because Looney Tunes are Looney Tunes. Not by much, which is actually kind of surprising. 5,500 searches for Looney Tunes is still more than Judaism, but it's kind of surprising that it's not searched more. Um, Gillette against Looney Tunes. Now, Gillette doesn't do just men razor, men razor, m razors for men. They do razors for women, too. Um, so I'm going to say that it's going to be higher. No. Okay, well, we did a, we did a, a six run on that one. So, uh, uh, why do I have the lid? I was like, I'm going to take a shot in the lid. No, I'm not going to take a shot in the lid. I was just playing with the lid. And then I was like, grabbed the lid because I figured, I was like, yeah, that's that's what I'm going to be using to, to do the shots. And it just fell on the floor. Um, so here's the shot. <sighs> okay. One more round. And then we'll see what happens. Uh, Inglorious Bastards. Never heard of the movie. I don't even know, like, how old it is. It looks... It looks like Brad Pitt, but I, I really don't know. Um, against the Grand Budapest Hotel. I never heard of the Grand Budapest Hotel. But it's, might, it might be, like, searched more than um, this. So I'm just going to say higher. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little, a little more sloshed than last time. <laughs> cause last time I had, I took less shots cause I was a little bit 
better or something. I don't know. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm thinking that's going to be it for today. Um, my head is already starting to get a little fuzzy. And my face is all warm. Um, but yeah, that's going to be uh, higher or lower. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. You know the deal. Um, there's a link to the, um, the merchandise store and stuff like that. Discord, all that stuff is in the, in the description. Um, there will be a video that YouTube suggests that you check out uh, right below my face. You can click there and it will take you to a video. And then over in the middle will be my face. You can click on that to go subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Become a shiny because we're all fun here. Um, yeah, so do all that and I'll see you next time everybody. Bye-bye.